Hi y'all, it's good to see you here again. ULA is known for its bullseye launches for the military, NASA's interplanetary probes, or PK customers, providing them with orbit injections so precise that satellites save tons of fuel in correction maneuvers. But ULA's fleet of launchers is aging and cannot keep up with the competition. Yes, I am talking about SpaceX Falcon 9 and soon-to-be Starship. That is why ULA has developed its new rocket, the Vulcan, set for its first flight next year. But something is threatening this plan, and it's Jeff Bezos company Blue Origin, sadly becoming more known for its lawsuits and delays than for its achievements. In this video, I will explain to you what's threatening Vulcan. As always, timestamps and links to sources are in the description. And without further ado, let's go! Vulcan is about to become the only rocket flown by ULA, replacing the Atlas V, Delta IV and Delta IV Heavy. What's interesting is it will be single core like the Atlas, but heavy lifter like the Delta IV Heavy, therefore being easier to build, cheaper and higher performance. Another goal was to end the dependence on Russian RD-180 engines used on the Atlas V. During the conflict in Ukraine and diplomatic stress that ensued, the availability of the Russian motor was at risk. Given that most ULA's launches are a matter of national security, this was deemed problematic enough. The RD-180 was developed by Russian NPO Enagomarsh, derived from the RD-170 flying on Zenit today. Vulcan's second stage will be a very interesting evolution of the high-performing Centaur workhorse, with a long-duty reliable hydrogen-oxygen cryogenic engine. The first stage will burn liquid methane and liquid oxygen, and will therefore need a new motor. Aerojet Rocketdyne, ULA's usual motor maker, was not selected, and instead Blue Origin was to provide two BE-4 engines for each flight. The BE-4 engine was initially designed to power Blue Origin's next rocket, New Glenn. But Blue Origin is open to selling it to ULA. On the paper, the BE-4 is similar to the Raptor methane oxygen mix, with a bit more thrust at the expense of efficiency for the BE-4. Both are designed to be reusable, but ULA will not try to reuse them, at least for the very first flight. It is under development since 2011, about the same time SpaceX started working on the Raptor, give or take a couple of years. Initially announced ready for flight in 2017, Blue Origin's motor suffered more than four years of delay because of management issues. There are still two development motors to be tested at Von Horn, Texas before beginning the final assembly of the flight motors. Blue Origin aspires to deliver motor number one and number two to ULA before the end of the year. But since there's still some testing to be done, this milestone is very much subject to delays and might slip into early 2022. These are tight margins, but it should be okay for a Vulcan first flight scheduled during the second half of 2022. But even then, engines number one and two are not flat qualified. ULA will receive those two engines and briefly inspect them before mounting them on the Vulcan first stage. But to qualify engines number 1 and 2, Blue Origin will craft number 3 and 4 according to the exact same process. Number 3 and 4 will then be fully tested in flight configuration. Yes, in order to deliver the flight motors in time, the test motors will be made and therefore tested after the flight motors are mounted on the rocket. This is completely backwards. If the test doesn't fully qualify the engines, ULA will have to disassemble the motors from the booster and send them back to Blue Origin. In that eventuality, the Vulcan rocket is almost certain not to fly before 2023. ULA CEO Tori Bruno is quite pissed at Blue Origin delays, although he doesn't say it publicly to keep the relations between the two companies healthy. Maybe he also fears Blue Origin might sue him as they tried to sue NASA for not hiring them. Anyways, because of one company that failed to deliver, one of the two major US rocket companies might end up without any rocket to launch in the near future. If you like that story, I will explain to you how Blue Origin managed to mess this up in the next video.